I'm an actor, pretty bad actor. <laughs> I, uh, I don't get a lot of auditions, but uh, I had an audition the other day, said they were looking for a fat, balding, depressed guy for this one movie. <laughs> I called my agent, I go, uh, I don't think I'm right for this part. <laughs> He goes, actually, you're perfect. <laughs> I go, you know what? I'm not going in. He goes, they asked for you specifically. <laughs> I said, they did? Okay, I'll go in, all right. <laughs> no, uh, been a little weird with the COVID, right, everybody? A little yeah. dicey last year, a little tough, you know? I had a little tough time, got a little depressed. Lost a job, you know, comedians, we, we weren't working at all, you know. So uh, I just decided to take my shirt off for about eight months. <laughs> I didn't feel the need to wear a shirt. <laughs> my, uh, my wife wasn't too pleased with that. <laughs> but uh, the way I saw it, I was like, we're not going to have any guests. <laughs> And I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so I'm not going to wear a shirt. <laughs> She's like, all right, do what you want, you know. She's tired of me anyway, you know. <laughs> but she always tried to keep, keep busy, you know, during the quarantine. So she was always fixing stuff, you know. So she had these two sconces that she wanted to put above the bed, you know, these lights. And uh, so she took a picture of it. And she sent it to the handyman. In the background of the picture, I was just sitting there with a popsicle without a shirt on. <laughs> I don't know. We try to keep ourselves busy. You know, we were really bored. We watched all the Netflix shows, did all that stuff, you know. We didn't know what to do with ourselves, you know. So my wife is like, let's do a puzzle. <laughs> I'm like, a puzzle? I, I don't want to do a puzzle. That's like giving up. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing a puzzle. She's like, I'm going to go get a puzzle. Well, she goes and gets a puzzle from the store, dumps it on the dining room table, you know, it's American flag, you know. Now we can't eat anymore. <laughs> And she puts on Criss Cross on Sirius Radio, you know, Yacht Rock. You ever listen to Yacht Rock? <laughs> you listen to Yacht Rock? <laughs> she listens to Yacht Rock 24 hours a day, you know? It's like Christopher Cross on a loop. It's like, sailing takes me away. <laughs> She's like, all right, let's do the puzzle. I'm like, oh. Okay, so I pick up a piece, and I think it goes there, and it doesn't. <laughs> so I save it for later. <laughs> and I pick up another piece, and I think it goes there, and it doesn't. <laughs> Save it for later. <laughs> Sailing takes me like, like, is this a nursing home? What's going on? <laughs> I just took the puzzle. I'm like, no! I'm going for a walk. Oh, no, it was hard. But I you know it's over now. We can go back to, we're kind of getting back to normal, you know. Been flying around a little bit. That's a little scary. Everybody's on edge on the plane, you know. I was sitting next to this lady and she coughed. And I got a little nervous. I go, hey, huh? And I go, bless you, ma'am. And she goes, on my cough, they didn't sneeze, okay? And I go, okay, then I take my blessing back. And you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I don't know. 
sometimes I need an extension, you know? Those extensions that go around here. And I never want to ask the stewardess, you know? I don't want to, I want to keep it on the down low, you know? So I just flag the stewardess, I'm like, Give her the signal, you know, like, hey, here you go. And she gets on the horn. She's like, I got an extension and half day. Oh! Point to the lady. Blaming on the old lady next to me. She needs it. <laughs> I don't know. I flew to Vegas. Vegas is crazy. I don't know. The, the plane flight to Vegas is so weird. It's so emotional, you know. The plane flight to Vegas is awesome. Everybody's in a great mood. They're like, we're going to Vegas. Let's go. People doing shots are like, Aah. it's like a madhouse, you know. And then the Sunday night flight away from Vegas. That's got a whole other attitude on that plane. Everybody on the head plane's like, shut up and give me a ginger ale. <laughs> and shut your fat face. <laughs> People coming home going, honey, did you like the house? Yeah. Let's get rid of the house, huh? <laughs> Play blackjack sometimes, you know. Blackjack's a weird game. It's like it's up to 21, you know. There's no skill in it. It's like... Come on, you know, it's just pure luck. You know, I always get a 20. The dealer gives me a 20. I'm like, I'm going to stick. And then he'll always get a 21. And I got to be happy about it. There's a bunch of cameras watching me. And I got to be like, ah, oh, you're a real card chart there, kid. Boy, oh, boy, you really got me. <laughs> I tell you, yeah, that's fun. You got a 21. I want to take the table and go, get out of here. <laughs> no, I, um, I am married. Any, uh, everybody's married here, right? Yeah, right? I don't see any wild single people going, yeah! Bravo! <laughs> no No spring breakers in this crowd, right? Nice town. I like that. No, I've been married for a while. You know, during that COVID, COVID really was a, put a test to the old marriage, you know. <laughs> we got in a couple sniff, snaff, foos, you know. <laughs> we got a little cabin fever there, kind of looking at each other going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a great arguer, you know. Like, my wife is, she's a real pro. Like, she can argue for like six months straight. Uh, and at the end, she'll just be like, yeah, you see, I was right. Uh, like, I don't know. I have ADT. I just give up. I just give up right away. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. You know. But she knows I have ADD, and so... She'll always, you know, in the middle of an argument, she'll point to something to distract me like a dog, you know? <laughs> I think I have a really good point. I'm like, hey, I want to talk to you about that one thing. And she'll go, look at the grass. <laughs> I'm like, what are you, what's with the grass? What's with the grass? <laughs> and then she'll sneak in her thing. She'll go, I wonder if the grass wants to grow up and be a man. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. My wife's into vision boards. I don't know if you guys ever heard of a vision board. You ever heard of a vision board? Yeah, I don't know. She does these vision boards all the time. She makes me do them, which is awful. <laughs> a vision board is basically a cardboard cutout, you know? And then you put pictures on there of what you want to have happen for the year, and then you're supposed to manifest it. You know? And so, like, the other night, she's like, we're doing a vision bar. So I'm cutting out pictures of, like, communication, fun, vacation, money. All this, putting it on there like a fifth grader, you know? 
She's like, we're doing this all night because there's a new moon in the morning. I'm like, what is this witchcraft? Come on. <laughs> My friend calls me and he's like, hey, you want to go golfing in the morning? I go, I can't. I'm doing a vision board. And I got to get it done before the new moon in the morning. And then he whispers to me, he goes, are you okay? fine. I was doing a vision board. He goes, I'm coming right over. I want to stay there. <laughs> I don't know. We say I love you in my house all the time. I don't know if you guys do that. After every conversation, we're like, all right, see you. Love you. All right, bye. I'm going to see you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Which is fine. You know, just don't say it after every conversation. You know? But, uh, you know, I said it to the plumber the other day. <laughs> well, the plumber's like, all right, I finished up in here. And I'm like, okay, great, I love you. <laughs> he looks at me and he's like, what? What are you talking about? I just went with it and I go, I love you. <laughs> I think you do a good job. The toilet works like a charm. I, you're, I, I love you. Wonderful man. Come here, give me a kiss. <laughs> we made out for like 10 minutes. It was wonderful. Never thought that would happen, but hey, look at that. When she goes to the grocery store, she's a lot nicer than I am. I go to the grocery store, I just want to get the bananas and get out of there, you know. She gets a full-on conversation with the guy checking us out. And there's 20 people in line, you know. She'd be like, how you doing, Sam? And Sam's like, oh, I'm not too bad. How are you? I'm not bad. Just get the bananas. Let's go. You know. I'll go in there by myself. I'm like, how you doing, Sam? And he's like, well, not too good. I had a bum leg. I think I might get fired from the job. Life's pretty bad right now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll just put the bananas on top of the bag. I'll get out of here. You know? <laughs> he's like, you're not as nice as your wife. You know that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. shut up, Sam. <laughs> Well, you want to give two bucks to the kids? I go, no. <laughs> Just want my bananas. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we, uh, she doesn't really care for what I do for a living, you know. She doesn't really, I go, I'm going to do dry bar. And she's like, what's that? Oh, you know, they're going to film me and everything. They're like, oh, whatever. Like, one time, this guy wanted my autograph after a show, and she goes, oh, is that sad? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. My wife, she says, she's very smart, you know, but she'll say a whopper every once in a while, you know. We have this thing on our TV. It's like a fake fireplace, you know, because we can't afford a real fireplace. So we have one on YouTube that just goes, you know, on the TV. One day I said, oh, my skin is so dry. And she goes, well, it might be the fire. <laughs> what? She goes, oh, my God. We have three dogs. Yeah, they're all just crazy. One of them bites. It's weird to have a dog that bites, you know. It's kind of fun, actually, you know. It's, it's, got, it's really small, and its teeth are really dull, so it doesn't hurt anybody, but scares the living dickens out of people. 
And they'll be like, oh, what a cute... Yeah, he, he bites. And then we got one that's uh, it's got to wear a diaper. And she, like, gets really nervous every time. I'm like, hey, Gracie. And she'll go... So we got to put a diaper on her every single day. The most surreal thing in the world. I'm changing a dog's diaper, it's going like this. I use baby powder, the whole thing. She's not the brightest bulb on the planet, I'll tell you that. Like, I'll be playing with her and I'll leave the room and I'll come back in and she'll go, Arr! I'll go, I was just in here. And she'll go, ah, carry on. Just checking. <laughs> I don't know. But I, uh, my wife had to put up with me. I, I come from a weird family. I come from the Midwest. Everybody uh, from the Midwest, we're all pretty nice, you know. But it's, uh, it's a little weird. Like, whatever. sometimes it's too nice, you know. Like, I was riding my bike one time. This guy was coming at me in his car, and he's leaning out the window going like this. And I stop my bike, I go, you okay, pal? And he goes, how you doing, buddy? Have a great day. I go, get out of here, you weird nice guy. What the hell? <laughs> now, I used, to, uh, I used to work for my dad's asphalt company. I, before I did comedy, I sold asphalt. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting, right? Yeah, it was my dad's asphalt company. He used to make us sing songs to his asphalt customers, you know? We have to sing a song like, here's to Ralphie, he's a damn fine man. Here's to Ralphie, he's the best in the land. Isn't he a daisy? Drives his poor wife crazy. Ain't spy dry beer. Ralphie's gonna buy a beer. <laughs> Thank you. And he'd say, now go wait in the car and drive me home. I take a nap. <laughs> no, but asphalt, it's not too hard to sell because you either, you either want it or you don't. <laughs> it's true. I used to go up to a guy and be like, hey, uh, you need any asphalt? And the guy would be like, uh, no. <laughs> no, I do not. And my salesmanship would kick in, and I'd be like, are you sure? <laughs> that was the extent of it right there. <laughs> Pretty much. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I come from a pretty fat family. Yeah. My brother was Chris Farley. I don't know if you guys remember Chris. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's weird to be uh, the brother of a famous you know, guy, you know. It's, it's a weird club to be in, you know. It's like me and Roger Clinton and... <laughs> Don Swayze, you know. Some of the Baldwin brothers, you know. <laughs> it's a weird club. I had this guy come up to me one time, and he's like, Kevin Farley. I'm like, yeah, that's me. He's like, yeah, I know Jim Hanks. <laughs> I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. He's like, yeah, I'm Jim. He was in Forrest Gump. He's Tom's brother. I know him. He's a good guy. I'm like, I don't care. How does that affect my life? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> like I said, we're all fat. Uh, I said to my mom, I go, what, what did you feed us? You know? She's like, well, your dad liked buffets a lot. Uh, we used to go to the buffet all the time. My dad would be like, get in the car, we're going to the buffet. We'd pile in the car, you know, and then my dad would turn into like a buffet coach. He had all these rules for the buffet. If you didn't obey him, you were the worst in the family, you know? 
he get us in a huddle outside the, outside the buffet like a football team, you know? And he'd be like, get in here. This is 3995, I'm not messing around. <laughs> like, we got some rules to this now. Bread and water, that's a waste of time. I don't want to see anybody eating bread. Water's only abused if you're choking. It's like the celery and the carrots. It's not why we're here, let's focus. Sugars, fats, and beef. You want the turkey, you want the ham, you want the roast beef. You don't get it, you start bawling your eyes out and I'll carve it up for you. The most important thing is desserts. You fill your plate with every single dessert they have. If somebody says anything, you say it's for the table. end of it all, I'm going to fake a heart attack, grab the chef by the throat, you guys fill your pockets of food, meet me in the lobby. Ready? Right? <laughs> Food's love! <laughs> Break! <laughs> That's how I lost sight of my feet. <laughs> Can't see my feet from this angle. Yeah, anyway. So, I like to analyze song lyrics. Uh, you ever listen to a song lyric and go, That's pretty stupid. <laughs> you ever listen to I Shot the Sheriff? It doesn't make any sense. It was I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. Well, yeah, but you shot the sheriff. You're saying we should let you go because you didn't shoot the deputy? You're going to jail, Terry. That's a bad defense. <laughs> What are you talking about? Elton John wrote a song that goes, if I was a sculptor, but then again, no. <laughs> don't write it, Elton. We don't gotta hear your every thought. <laughs> write another lyric. <laughs> the worst song of all time, the worst lyric is Shot A's Smooth Operator. Great song, but it's got a weird lyric. It goes, Coast to coast, L.A. to Chicago. <laughs> what map are you looking at? <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks. Hey, this is Kevin Farley. I hope you enjoyed my set. And I hope you tip. And you tip well. Don't tip a little bit. Tip, tip a lot, because tonight's tips go to a very important charity. Me right in my pocket, right here. Why is it important? Well, I need a lot of things. I need, my car, is car, the carburetor is shot, and I need that, and taxes, my taxes are, I'm in a lot of trouble. Help me. 10 grand would not be too much. Do it. Thank you.